Hello there everybody, welcome back to another video on my channel and today I'm going to show you how to install Prototype 1 Ray Tracing Graphics Mod on your PC for your Prototype 1. So, um, just like I said in my Patreon, you need these files, Reshade, Pascal Glitches, Ray Tracing Shader, Text Mod, our Texture Files and of course the Reshade Preset. So to get started, first thing we're going to do is we're going to install Reshade in our game. Search for Reshade, or just, you know, download from our link, open that up, select your game, browse, and go to your game folder, select prototype f.exe. Once you do that, select DirectX 9. Now, I have already done that, so I'm not going to do that again. And once you do that, you are going to go to your prototype folder and it should look like this, where you, you're going to have a reshade shaders folder. Now, I'm not supposed to show you this because this is just Patreon, uh, Patreon only. So you have to download Pascal Glitch's RTGA shader and then install it. And once you do that, we have to use our textures because <coughs> we have done the first step. So the next step is we're going to open up textmod.exe. Click on the large icon, browse, and you're going to have to select prototype. So let's go there, prototype f.exe. Click on the small folder icon, and then you just have to select this the the file p2 style 3.0 so browse let's go there and we're just gonna have to click on that once you do that the next thing we're going to do is we're going to install a reshade preset so I already gave you that zip so just open that up we're going to see a, an INI file then go to your game folder and just fundamentally paste the INI file. I've already uh, I already have that, so I'm not gonna replace that. So once you are all set, start your game. Click on Run. It'll take you a bit if you have a slower HDD, but if you're running on an SDD, it's gonna be very fast. Reshade is running some high-end effect, so it should take a bit. And once that is loaded up, you're going to see a screen like this. Click on Home, and click on this. And over here, you're going to see every folder in your game folder, and also the files. So down here, you're going to see proto uh, ktmx.ini. Double click on that press home to hide it and voila your game is actually working I'm not sure it's supposed to say voila or voila but yeah in any case our game is working perfectly fine and you'll be able to play it with uh, next gen and better graphics and here you go I guess your problem is solved now you can install it and play it Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.